Our production team has, over a period of a whole year, put to the test a Mercedes 280 SE with 185 horsepower, six cylinders, an aftermarket catalyzer, and four-speed automatic gear. We wanted to find out how a 24-year-old S-Class sedan fares over time and consulted vehicle inspector Thomas Eschenbach to get his expert view. Schalldämpfer. The mufflers are quite new, and so we note the new door sills and pipes. It has clearly been recently serviced. As I see it, there is roadworthiness in all the essential neuralgic points. Also, so wie ich das jetzt hier sehe, ist tatsächlich gesunde Substanz an den neuralgischen Punkten. The inspector is a specialist and knows all the weaknesses of top-of-the-range automobile classics. He looks more closely. The kind of rust damage typical for this model, around the wheel arches for instance, we can check that out easily by looking for traces of filler. This can we but very quickly find with our Spachtelfinder. What about under the lacquer? Basically all is well, although Thomas Eschenbach finds places where the paintwork has been retouched, possibly an indication of accident damage. One of the wings has been replaced, but the job seems to have been done by a professional. When in doubt, the inspector reaches for the instrument which measures the thickness of the lacquer layer and determines what is original paintwork and what was later applied. A really fine automobile, not quite perfect though, but the defects we found would only demote it to class 2. As far as the car's value, it's a bit hard to say. Maybe about six or seven thousand euros would be a fair price in this case, but finding a car in this condition, that wouldn't be easy. Incidentally, our W116 did not come from the excellent collection maintained by the Mercedes Museum in Stuttgart. The experts from the Mercedes Classic Center searched for it on the open market and got lucky. The S-Class was built from 1972 until 1980, with 473,000 vehicles rolling off the assembly lines. It was regarded by testers as the best car in the world in those days and was favored by politicians, football players and show business luminaries. In 1979 it was priced from 34,000 to 81,000 marks. Our production team was particularly enthusiastic about the comfortable suspension, more so when compared to the stiffer ride offered in today's models. This is one of the reasons why Mercedes rivals like BMW with their 7 Series had a hard time to equal the Mercedes Comfort. The S-Class never let us down. There were only minor niggles like the chrome ring which worked itself loose on the doorknob. Even the specialists at the classic car center couldn't come up with a replacement. But there was no difficulty finding winter tires in the original size, 185R14C. The only time we needed to visit the workshop was when there was a strange engine noise. Yes, at first we thought it could be a chain tensioner or a camshaft control chain, but it turned out to be something else entirely. It was the visco cooler. We found out that it had contact with the shaft and caused the noise. The car now has 175,000 kilometers on the clock, and with this kind of history, a bit of wear and tear is to be expected. In der Höhe kann es schon vorkommen, dass wir hier einen Verschleiß entsprechend haben am Viscolifter.